Jane Sun, the newly appointed CEO of Chinese travel site Ctrip, ranks number 15 on the 2017 Forbes China list of outstanding businesswomen in the country. Outspoken about the need to include more women in business, she also believes China's population needs to grow dramatically to keep the economy stable. Karina Huber met with her when she was in New York recently to speak at a conference organized by the Chazen Institute of Columbia University's Business School. She started by asking her what her goals are for Ctrip. We have done very well in the past to build a strong brand name in China, uh, in the first tier city particularly. So now uh, we will further uh, extend our leadership into the second tier cities and third tier cities. And globally, with more and more Chinese travelers going abroad, we will also offer better services, better product for them. So we want to build a strong brand name within Asia and along with our customers uh, go further and further beyond China. In terms of market cap, Ctrip is larger than Expedia, but in the United States, it doesn't have the same recognition as Expedia. Do you think that is going to change? Are we going to see Americans using Ctrip? I think Expedia has established a wonderful reputation in the United States, uh, so they are doing very well. Uh, Ctrip is very well established in China, and I think our target is in Asia. We also have very good product offerings going forward, so we'll methodically move with our customers. Customers. Wherever our customer goes, Ctrip will be there with them by offering them the best product and the best services. You also recently bought a stake in India's Make My Trip. Why are you investing in India? India, we feel, is a huge market. Uh, and also with the population, young generation in the future, uh, it's a very uh, solid market. Uh, but we want to make sure we invest in the best team. So after we talk to Deep, the CEO of Make My Trip, uh, it uh, really makes sense for us to uh, become a good investor to support them. So that's why we plant a seed in this huge market for future growth. Now, in the United States, you worked for several years uh, with Applied Materials and also with accounting firm KPMG. What did you learn from those experiences that perhaps helped you with your career in China? When we were looking for a C-Trip CFO, uh, our board wanted to find somebody which can understand China culture very well. Meanwhile, also be a good bridge uh, to Wall Street so that our investors will understand our business and our operation well. So my training in the United States States in KPMG and applied the materials really prepare me well for my future jobs. So I'm grateful for everything these two firms have taught me. Did you always see yourself being in a leadership position? Uh, my leadership skill is uh, quite different from some other leaders. Uh, I think a true leader needs to really empower my team uh, to make sure everyone feels like they are the leader in the team. If I can identify their strengths and put them in the position that will expand their strengths, they become very confident leaders. I feel I'm leading it by empowering them. You're also empowering a lot of women. Uh, your company employs more than 50 percent of your employees are women, uh, about a third of your VPs are, and you also offer very generous benefits for working mothers. Why do you think it's important to invest in female talent? I think female talent is very important part of economies. 50% uh, of the population are women, and also lots of spending decisions, in, including travel decisions, shopping decisions, are made by moms, by females, and also in terms of leadership, uh, female also have a lot of good traits to lead the team. For example, uh, they are very team-oriented, uh, willing to make sacrifice for the interest of the team, a uh, very good coach, good at communication. So if we can empower more uh, females to become a leader, I think we will have a good society. And how have you experienced being a female CEO in this industry? Do you feel your employees interact with you differently than they would with a male CEO? I think with me uh, because I was very close. I'm always very, very close to our team. They feel very relaxed to tell me the, their joy, their sadness. So no matter if they have 
you know, a wedding, uh, they find a new girlfriend, uh, or they have challenge in the work, they are always very willing to share with me. Uh, but uh, in terms of running the company, our target is always set very high. Uh, so we segregate the business part and the personal part. On business, we want them to be very motivated. I want to give them all the support we want to, uh, to help them to excel in their career path. But uh, outside of work, we are like a family, uh, so we're very close to each other. You've spoken out about the need for population growth in China. Why is that an issue that is important for you? China in the past had one-child policy, but in order to have a stabilized population, every family needs to have 2.1 children. Uh, so in the future, uh, government needs to come up with stimulating policies to encourage family to have more than two children in order for us to grow at a healthy rate. See to take the leadership. So when the kid is born, uh, we give 800 gift for a newborn children. And if a uh, female get pregnant, uh, we will give them a reimbursement for taxi. And also, we build on-site nursery for our working parents. So early in the morning, if you have meetings, or late in the evening, if you need to work overtime, the teachers in the nursery will be able to help these families to take care of the children. And the parents can monitor to what the kids is doing through monitors and they can even go to the nursery to have lunch with the children. So it's a wonderful uh, family atmosphere which support our young families and encourage them also to uh, have uh, more than one child.